Can you believe it? I mean, I've got an advice for you guys. Never ever get carried away. You must be thinking, yeah, he's giving us advice only after two videos. But trust me, um, <laughs> I'm giving this advice after an experience, not after two videos. I got so excited about all that painting stuff that I just went ahead and did the painting. Didn't think anything if I need to make a video or not. Mm -hmm. I'm so pissed off about that. Yeah, so I didn't make a video while making the painting. I, I wanted to pull my hair, thankfully I don't have any. Um, I just did the painting. Halfway through I realized, oh oh, I didn't make the video. So what should I do now? I took a few photographs though with my phone and a little bit, little bit of video of the setting how I was doing. I'm still going to share that painting with you and the mistakes I made while making that painting. It's my first ever painting so I have to share it. Hopefully it will help, help anyone who wants to do anything like that. If not, that's also okay. Let's go ahead and have a look. Why not? Let's see if you can spot the first mistake. Have you spotted it yet? Exactly. I'm painting on a set of stairs, not on an easel. And that resulted in the painting falling to the ground face down twice. You can see the resulting mess. And the second mistake is the mixing of the colors in wrong proportions. Mountain doesn't look the same color as it looks in Bob's painting. That's the equipment table, which was fine. And that's the final painting. Even after so many blunders, I'm somehow satisfied with the results I've got there. Now at least I know for sure what I need before I even attempt the second painting. An easel. If you like the attempt I'm doing here, please give us a like. You want to subscribe, subscribe, you don't want to subscribe, that's also okay. And if you are curious, please do subscribe and hit the bell button. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.